hello everyone and today i'm going to be showing you how you can fix a trouble it is caused like whenever you download something and this uh, internet connection automatically drops out so this could happen if you are downloading any large file over any firefox or chrome but it could also happen if you are downloading uh, especially this video is for fortnite though uh, for example you're downloading fortnite from epic games launcher as you click to download and it automatically drops out so this is however the best thing you can do in case if you want to fix that out okay the first thing that you want to do is to open up command prompt because these are the easiest things that you can do out there and also make sure that you open it as as an administrator just simply cmd and run as administrator that's all you got to do the first thing that i would still recommend you is to restart your router and restart your pc and then try again but in case that doesn't work out it still holds a probability but it still doesn't work out make sure that you follow this the first thing that you want to do is to reset your IP and before that is make sure that you flush your DNS. Simply type in IP config, config and make a slash and then type in flush DNS. That's going to re remove all the resolver DNS cache that has been stro stored. So just simply flush it. But this requires elevation and by elevation I mean administrator privileges. So make sure that you are as an administrator in the command prompt. The next thing to also require administrator privileges and that is netish. You can type the following. It's netish int, int, it's literally not those int ones. And ip, I don't know why I write tip, but ip, and let me show you properly, netish int ip reset. These commands are also given down below in the description. You can also check them there if you don't want to see them here. Just simply press enter and that's going to say like here the few things are going to say failed and denied don't worry about it but finally it's going to say that restart your computer because we actually need that and finally you're going to type in netish winsock it's not winshock it's sock reset and that's going to be resetting the winsock catalog and once you have resetted that make sure that you restart your pc since i'm not going to do that because it already has been done and i'm i want to show you something else so that's why i'm not going to be doing that the next thing that you want to do is to do the following this is probably if you still that doesn't work this is gonna fix completely so how you can do that is to make sure that you go into your network and sharing center if you're in windows 10 or windows 8 i don't know if it works the same just simply right click on wherever your connection shows and click on open network and internet setting so uh, one more way is or the easier way to go in there without changing uh, without going in, into this problematic stuff and this even works for windows 7 8 8.1 and 10 just simply search for control panel and open it up once you're inside of control panel head over to network and internet click it and from here there it is network and sharing center the first thing that you're going to notice is that we have an ethernet connection and similarly you might have a wireless or anything it depends on whatever connection you are but simply click on the one that you're having since, since in mine it is ethernet i'm going to click on ethernet and down here you're going to see properties and it also requires elevation just simply click on properties and from here you're going to see your family controller chipset and you're going to click on config or configure one more thing that I would like to advise you guys is make sure that you head over to drivers and update drivers first just in case if your drivers aren't updated it's gonna search for it and automatically just simply click on update drivers and search automatically for update updated drivers and it's gonna search for them and install in case the latest driver haven't been installed in your computer so that is gonna increase the chances of whatever trouble that has been caused to you like in mine says uh, the best drivers are already installed so i don't need to do that we can also update our pc in case you haven't updated yours i'm gonna close it now here's what we gotta do i can go there once again you gotta click on ethernet click on properties click on configure and you're gonna see something like this now here uh, in my it shows like this in some people it also be there might be another option called link link something link speed something so make sure that you go in there because that's where we're heading to uh, if in your it's mine the same as mine so simply head over to advanced and here you got to search for speed and duplex so let me tell you what this is speed is literally you know and duplex is how the the way the so, or the way we communicate between each other in, on the internet it could be simplex half duplex or full duplex in simplex there's only one way connection in half duplex there are two way but the thing is that there are there is a delay between a sin and act like how we communicate the handshake and in full duplex the both the devices can communicate together at the same time so in here 
in yours it might be auto negotiation and this is what's causing the problem certainly when you're downloading large files it automatically drops the connection and switches so that's what you got to prevent so to prevent that simply select the value and make sure that you find your fullest in your it could be 1 gbps 10 gbps 10 mbps in my instance it has 100 mbps and i'm going to select 100 ps mbps full duplex make sure that you select full duplex not half duplex click on that simply click ok for some people there might be link and speed simply click onto that and select your value to be whatever your max is and full duplex click ok close and done the next thing that you want to do is to restart your pc and start downloading fortnite and i promise it's gonna work so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure that you like and subscribe and share this video with your friends in case they're also facing the same trouble i hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching